Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at how to make an all-in-one formicarium out of the non-toxic aerated concrete known as ACC or Yatong block. Let's get into it. So step one is to measure out the dimensions of your container or aquarium that you're going to be using onto the Yatong block or ACC. So I'm just marking out how big I want it to be in my container now. And you want to do this for all the sides around. And then what we're going to do is cut it afterwards. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is cutting the block. So I'm going to be cutting along the line. And I'm going to cut this down to what I want it to be. Once you've cut your block, you want to make sure you sand off any rough edges, for example here, or on this side, just to make it nice and flat, and it'll be better for the overall design. Once you're done sanding, you want to draw your actual nest onto the main brick, so I'm going to do that right now. So you can see I'm doing some slopes up here. I'm going to add a little entrance hole in here. Um, like that. And I'm just going to add some, some little tunnels and chambers throughout the whole thing. Now you don't want to put it too close to the top just in case it chips or anything. So that's always a good idea to remember that. Once you've sketched a rough idea of what you want the nest to look like, it's time to start carving everything out. So after marking your nest out, uh, I've grabbed out my power tool, right? Um, you don't need a power tool, but you can use um, screwdrivers and um, what do you call it? Chisels and all those standard house tools. Um, Australia Ants did a video on this one as well, and he used those for demonstration purposes. And basically you can see here, I've carved it all out with the power tool. And yeah. Okay, so now what I'll be doing is, I'm going to be marking out the slope here. So this is where the slope is going to be. Now, it's too hard to make that all with just this little tool here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically rule across and cut the whole thing down with a hacksaw. Just like that. So after cutting the rough edges off, you now want to sand it off to make it nice and smooth. I'm using a sanding block here with just some standard sandpaper. It doesn't have to be too rough because this stuff's really easy to break down, so yeah. Okay, so after a bit of sanding using the block, I came up with this. So you can see it's pretty smooth and inside face is nice and smooth. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually deepen the tunnels in here um, and make a few entrance holes for the ants. So that's what I'm going to do real quick.
<clears throat> okay, so I've carved out the tunnels quite a bit deeper now, and side one too. So what I'm going to be doing now is going to drill a hole through the top that goes in to the nest. So let's do that. Okay, so I've done a bit of a hole in here, that way I can access it from the top up here. So now I've got the drill. <clears throat> now the drill is a little bit big, but it's good because I'll be able to do it for any ant size, because I'm not 100% sure on what ants I'll be keeping. So yeah, let's do this. Got a nice little entrance hole in here that leads into here. So that's a good one there. Um, let's do one in here. So now I got another entrance hole just here comes through the top there, so you got two there, and I think that should be good. Now I'm going to add a couple hydration holes. So I'm going to change to a really small drill tip here for the hydration ports. Now I think what I'm going to do is just going to hydrate both sides of the nest. So if I go down this way, like this, okay, so I got a tiny little hydration hole here. It's kind of hard to see there, and it comes out through there. Um, now I'll add another hydration hole, right, oh, right here, I guess. So, your nest right now is pretty much done. I would add a coat of paint, but last time it didn't turn out very well. The paint cracked and it wasn't watered down enough. So I'm not going to paint it this time. So the last thing you probably want to do is just <clears throat> get all the dust off this. Okay, the leaf blower did seem to do the trick pretty nicely. I think I'll still vacuum a bit of it off because... You can see I'm still getting a bit of white on my fingers. So I'm going to do that real quick. But basically, what we're going to be doing after this is we're going to be moving it into your tub or aquarium or whatever you're going to be using. Okay, so I've just vacuumed it with the Dyson vacuum. And now what we're going to be doing is gluing this to the bottom so it sits up nice and flush against here. So let's do that. So now the hot glue gun's all heated up, and I'm going to be gluing this to the bottom. So I'll see you when I've done this. Okay, so I've hot glued everything in place here. You can see it goes all the way along. I decided to put it on the bottom because this stuff's so dusty. Like, even with the vacuum, I still get stuff on my hands. And I tested it with these pieces here, put the hot glue between them, and the hot glue just peeled right off. 
because it was so dusty. So this one I got the dust off quite a bit already, so but I still wanted to be sure. So I put it all along the edge and you can see this still holds very well. It doesn't come off. Now the last step here is to decorate your formicarium. So I'll be getting some mulch and dirt from over there. And yeah, that's about it. So now that I've put the substrate in, you can see the final result here. It's really nice. It's got great slopey hill and it's got the dirt, a couple plants, and yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please leave, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get any alerts whenever we post a new video. And I'll see you next time.